Hello there, this is Melek and welcome to episode 99 of my Minecraft Season 6 playthrough. I've been, you know, semi-busy, I guess. Um, I've done another level of the tower on top of finishing off the previous one from the other episode. Let me just chuck a, a bed down. I need to get a red bed. Red red bed redemption. No. Um, it's, it's getting pretty high up. <laughs> it's getting pretty high now, I, and I've run out of amethyst. I need a load more amethyst. I need to check the outside of the tower, make sure that everything looks good. But yeah, I need a, uh, yeah, I, I need more amethyst, man. I need more. Um, I'm just gonna uh, just do a couple of extra touches. Um, nothing crazy. Just filling out as much as I can without doing the sides, which need amethyst still. Ding! It's pretty, um... It's, it's, a, it's a fairly large amount of polished blackstone that I've used here. So, now, one thing that, that may or may not have come along, um, let me sleep the night away, is, of course, if we're right in assuming that villagers cannot use ladders, obviously I need to create something, because this top level is going to be the bedroom, once it's got walls and everything. This is going to be the dormitory for all the villagers. Obviously, there needs to be a way down to here, the, the research study, I suppose, um, for them to get up. So that's why I've got a bunch of these polished blackstone stairs. Because I'm going to, um, figure a way. And I'm gonna have, like, steps up the side that go around the corner and up to the next level kind of a deal. Um, or I could do it up through the middle. You know, there's no reason why I can't have the steps going up through the middle and have kind of a, um... Ooh. What if... I need some more blackstone. I do have some more blackstone back uh, in storage, but obviously I don't have a, a huge amount anymore. Because <laughs> I've used it all up a lot. It just needs to go into the nether and get some more, probably. That would be useful. So yeah, I've got minimal amounts now. I've got a lot of blackstone, so I can emergency um, do it. But let's, let's get the stairs thingy done. So the way I see it is, is I can put a s let's have a little look. Let's put a step there, a step there, flat, then we put upside down step there. No. Correct step there, 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 oop, uh, no. And then obviously that will then lead up. Kind of feel like it needs to be higher up though than that. Let's dig down through the floor here. Okay. Okay. It's all very sort of, I'm not 100% sure how I want to do this, but obviously it needs to be done in some way, so we might as well just go for it and see what happens. Yeah, it needs to arrive up to this level earlier. Okay, I can I can figure this out. So I'm thinking if we want it at least one earlier, if I put a block there, 
steps. Yeah, the problem with this design is it's going to take up a lot of space that could be taken up with something else sort of nicer. Now, don't get me wrong. It's nice. But it's... It's not ideal. And in theory, the, the librarians, the, the apprentices that I put in here, will be able to navigate this. In theory. Oh. Ah! I'm doing all of the stupid. It's not helping that my keyboard is at a funny angle. I'll blame the cat. Um... I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not convinced. You know? I'm not convinced. And I know I could put it around the outside, but I kind of feel like it's cooler to do it something like this. But then again... So what if it's cool if it's inconvenient? But is it inconvenient? I don't, I don't think it's that inconvenient. But there is definitely a school of thought that says, put them up the side and then, you know, around the outside of the, of the room. Maybe. That's kind of cool. Alternatively, I could do it the other way around. Where there's a single staircase starting really early here. And then it goes up, and then it splits into two, and then the upstairs ends up that way. No, I think this is fine. I, I need more space for the dormitories than anything else, so I think having this like this is probably for the best. Now, can I put it up sound downstairs? And, no. But I will be putting upside down steps there. I quite like this. I'm going to put a window at the bottom of the stairs as well. This is going to be like oh, a nice window that will let in some natural light. I feel like that's kind of a cool thing. And then I guess I just need to put some walls. Do I even need to put walls? I mean, do apprentices really need privacy? We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how I feel. <laughs> Because the, the lecterns, I'm not particularly concerned about squeezing in enough lecterns. That's going to be easy. They, they take up one square. One by one by one. It's just a tiny block. Obviously, um... I kind of need a load of wool. Where's me, where's me clippy things? There's me clippy things. Let's go clippy. Dangerous going through that farm. Very dangerous. Hang on, why am I going through the farm when I need the sheep? Now obviously without grass, they... Don't, I don't think they regrow their wool. But in theory, I could just breed more and then kill the ones without wool. Because <laughs> um, they apparently get born um, with a full decent set. So it doesn't really make any difference to me. I could have... It needs purple. The bed sheets in the in there need to be purple. They need to be, yeah. There definitely needs to be a purpliness to them. 
This is important, okay? This is a very important thing. There need to be purple bedding. Which basically means some poppies and cornflower. Or... Or other things. Rose bushes. I mean, I already have a load of purple dye, so... That probably works. Yeah, maybe I need to actually put it in the fucking... fucking, fucking, fucking. I've got a lot of crap in my inventory, which I need to sort out. It's filling up with 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 rubbish. Um, let's let's put the inedible the inedible fish somewhere else. And then hopefully we I mean, there's some raw card, but we do need the card for kitties when kitties get done. Let's let's not jump ahead of ourselves, shall we? When kitties are on the cards, then I will I will do it. And these eggs. I just need a composter. I think that would be my solution, a composter. And then I won't have any of these problems. So I think didn't get the die because I'm an idiot. That's a good point. Can you just die the beds? I think I I asked this question before, um, and I think I discovered the answer that yes, and it's definitely more efficient. I, I at least I think to die beds. Uh, there are some purples. There we have five beds. Let's start with six beds. And then I will dye the yellow bed that's on the roof purple. Purple is just such a nice color. I, I love purple, conceptually. Not even sure whether that makes any sense. Like the, I like the concept of purple. No, I just like purple itself. Purple itself is fine. I mean, I could just use the ladders, but the apprentices have to use this, the stairs. The stairs actually is probably more luxurious in fairness. So there's no real, yeah. So if I put a a, a bed there and a bed there and a bed there. That's six beds. Yeah. I could put them head to tail kind of thing. That would then allow a bit of walking space, but it means that I wouldn't get quite as many in. I mean, I don't think it matters too much. Okay. Look at that purple. It's, it's gorgeous. It is a really, really gorgeous color. Gorgeous purple. So this is for the six apprentices. Ooh. I could put little walls or fences along here, but I feel like this is acceptable. This is an acceptable dormitory for apprentices. Um, yeah, I quite like it. Then they will come down here, not fall out there, because I'll put some glass in there, and then all the lecterns will be here. And there'll be some books and fake chairs, and basically I'll, I'll prettify this, this whole area. 
Um, just putting more light so that things don't spawn in here. Okay. I'm still unconvinced with the stairs. Like, I feel like there's another way I can do this, which is... I still want it in the middle. There's something about the symmetry of that that I like. Yeah. But I need to make a load of lecterns, get a load of glass. Now, I'm not 100% sure how to make a lectern. It makes sense that it requires a bookshelf and a load of slabs. This is fine. This is fine. I suppose I should just make a load of paper. A load of books. Get some enchanting done. I could probably harvest some of that sugar cane that's uh, on the coast. It's a shame that the sugar cane there isn't particularly um, fast growing. It doesn't seem to be growing very fast at all. I could use some nice, uh, you know, bone meal on it or something. But we'll see. We'll see. So I need five lecterns. Although, saying that. Part of me is saying, don't put the lecterns down until you know which lectern and which villager is associated with it. Because what I, the idea will be is I'll put the lectern down when I get a new villager. The villager will become a librarian. I'll check what what book that they produce, that they offer. Um, and then I will uh, either destroy the lectern, getting rid of them, and put it back, or I will keep it. Um, so what I will do is I will grab a chest... What I will do is I will make a chest. Um, a couple of chests. I keep pressing Q to exit the menu. You know how I get that... I think everyone gets it, where they get that game confusion. Or like all your muscle memory is saying, Ah yes, Q to exit a menu. And it's like, nope. I'm not playing Elden Ring anymore. It's, it's, it's a very, very different game. So, um... I'm just going to put a chest under there, which can't be opened because of the type of block below it. Eh. Eh. Yeah, I still, still need the upside down steps, otherwise it just doesn't look right. But I'll, I'll, I'll work on it. Um, put a chest here. Slap the one lectern that I've got in there. Can I die it without a workbench? Yes. It'll be nice having little villagers running around doing research for me. It'll it'll make the tower feel a bit less lonely, I suppose. Because <laughs> I felt so lonely. Gonna need quite a few books, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, am. Yeah. Bookage. Boy, it's expensive. Well, that's okay, because I'm not going to get them all done in one go. Leather horse armor. That is good. All right, it was the, uh, the wood that I ran out of. Oh boy. He 
each. Those two pickaxes are basically the same. When I merge them together, it's going to cost a fortune. An absolute fortune. Hang on. And I need holes. I need slabs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my usual Malek thing of being super disorganized and just assuming that I've got everything I need when I quite clearly have not. And then we have huh, slabs. Huh. Interesting. Just materials for making more lecterns. Ah, fuck it, I'll chuck it all in there, more or less. Um, so I suppose the idea would be is to have the lecterns so they're facing in in the middle like that. And then the middle bit can have like uh, a fence or bars or something just for decoration. So it's like cubicles, like three lecterns on each side. The middle bit kind of walled off a bit. Um, yeah, I could put like some sort of, yeah, just bars or blocks or something like that. And then, yes, they come down here for work, go back up to, to not work. It makes sense. I wonder whether it'll, will it get confused with there being multiple, um, villages, sort of? Because they're sort of multiple villages, aren't they? Like, it's not... God damn it, I can't... I can't get out of that bloody menu. She's... Freya, why are you taking over more and more of my keyboard? You cheeky little mare. Yeah. You. You're so cute. Aren't you? Yeah. Anyway. Um... <clears throat> I'll stop touching my pussy. Um, oh, it keeps on doing that, and I keep on keep on having to press buttons without being able to see them because somebody is taking over my keyboard. She's a little bugger. She's only trying to help. I I, I know that she's trying to help in her own malevolent cat-like. Oh, well, she's so cute. <laughs> oh my god, this cat is turning me into a right softy. Not that I wasn't particularly soft to begin with, but you know what I mean. It's like, it's it's gotten worse. Let's get rid of some of these eggs. And pray not more eggs appear. Mm. Not alone. Ah! Put away that. Okay. I've got more of that, it's useful. Could get another horse, get a different saddle. What I do need. I need more amethyst. Um, do I have any purple glass panes? I need flowers as well. I kind of need quite a few things. I need to collect a load of flowers. What I'm going to do is place as much stuff back as possible. Like this. And then, well, we've got paper, we've got meats. I mean, the meats can just get chucked, honestly. I really don't need this much meat. I need axolotls. Axolotls. 
We need to get them back. Because these guys, these guys are like, yeah, we're here. We're, um, we're just being fish. I could just turn this into a big tropical fish aquarium thing. That'd be kind of cool. I'd have to change things up a bit, put steps immediately, put little walkways. Um, I kind of feel like this needs to be a thing. I like how these fish just haven't grown at all. They're still the three sizes. Let's get some flowers. Chuck away a few things. That's tropical fish, which I really don't need. They are the inedibles. I'm just gonna go up. I think it's daytime. Or it's morning, nearly, or something like that. But either way, I need to uh, possibly sleep. I think it's gonna let me because it is daytime. Don't know what time of day. Don't really care much. I'm just gonna bounce on this bed. <laughs> Wee! Why do I have a farmer out swimming? Why would he do this? Am I going to have to change the idea of this design? Because he's still a farmer, so he's still bound to this location. He just seems to be an idiot. What are you doing out there, dude? I don't think he can pathfind. We may have to reconsider how this village is set up. I may have to just put walls up and... Uh, I, I kind of didn't want to do that, you know? I kind of wanted to... Yeah, he can't pathfind. Yeah, that is a disappointment. It is a big disappointment. I really, really wanted to, yeah. Okay, well, what I will do is I will put in um, a water bucket so that I can slurp up some villagers. Um, and then next episode, episode 100, I guess, I'm going to... Well, see what we can do. Yeah. Now, in theory, a boat should easily get slurped up there. And in fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to slight change of, of, of idea. Well, first thing, I'm going to test it. Always a good idea to test things. Yeah, he's still stuck, unable to pathfind. I need more steps, but... If they can't pathfind a simple thing like that, yeah, I'm going to have to redesign the floaty thing. Um. Okay. Oh, 
Did I sort of like bonk my head on there and it kind of bounced me out of the boat? Okay, I can make a larger opening at the top. I can do that. It's kind of annoying that that's how it worked. Question is, do villagers get affected by the conduit? I bet they don't. Anyway, I'll figure this out. Um, and hopefully I'll get it working by next episode. But until then, guys, cheerio!